hello students uh, welcome to this video in this video we are going to discuss the anomalous properties of the second period element so the heading of the video is the anomalous properties of second period element properties of second period element hello malas properties means in the second period element we know the first element in the second period is lithium and the last is thorium totally different from the rest of the elements present in the group in the respective group as for example we know the second period element first element you know lithium then beryllium and if we write the group this is group number 1 this is group number 2 and in the group number 13 that is boron group number 14 that is carbon group number 15 that is your nitrogen 16 your oxygen 17 is your fluid this is the group number 1 element that is lithium that is block element and beryllium these two element are different from the other member of these groups that is sodium and all the groups in the first group and the second group beryllium and others element that will have the different characteristics different characteristics in terms these lithium and beryllium different characteristics in this respect that lithium will going to lithium and beryllium both are going to produce the you can write the compound which will produce the compound which is covalent predominantly covalent but other member of the groups other member of the group in now we're talking about the first group and the second group other member of the group they produce compound they produce compound which is ionic in nature so here lithium and beryllium lithium and beryllium they will produce the compound that is covalent predominantly covalent whereas the other member of the group will produce the ionic ionic compounds so why the question arises anything happens there must be a some reason and reasons behind this 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 has been realized that is the three reasons basically you observe number 1 the atomic radius atomic radius of 
this lithium and beryllium is very less lithium and beryllium very less as compared to the other member of the group so very small atomic radius very small size number two that charge this is very important thing charge to size ratio charge to size ratio is very high and that is why their polarizing power is very high so <clears throat> they will easily distort the electron crowd of this form compound towards itself and it will become a covalent compound these things you will more clearly you can understand where you will be study the bonding chemical bonding at that hazard rule is there at that time you will learn this so second first is atomic radius second is charge to size ratio is high and number third the high electronegativity high electronegativity so this is three reasons are responsible for this anomalous properties of this lithium and beryllium as compared to the other members of the group atomic radius is very small size charge to size ratio is very high and high electronegativity three things that attributed towards this reason that it going to produce the covalent compound okay <clears throat> in the group number 13 14 15 and 16 and 17 here also it is observed that in the respective group that is the group number 13 other elements or in the group number 14 other elements apart from this carbon it will show some different characteristics what are the different characteristics and these are basically the p block element first characteristics is covalency first character is covalency maximum covalency shows by this p block element first member of this all this group maximum covalency is 4 so maximum covalency is 4 that is the limitation because why it is maximum covalency is 4 because it has 2s plus 2p orbitals total 4 orbitals is available four orbitals are available and for this they can covalency can be shown by this compound is maximum four but the aluminum here also you can see the bf4 minus the maximum covalency is shown in this compound bf4 minus whereas in the same group aluminum aluminum will show the covalency more than 4 covalency more than 4 for this aluminum it will show covalency more than 4 because of the fact it is having the total nine orbitals because it is 3s 3p and 3d 3s 1 plus 3 plus 5 total nine orbitals is available for bonding so it can expand expand is covalency so that is a one of the different characteristics in the second period p block element with their respective group members 
Number one. Number two, that is we are going to discuss. Number two, that is uh, it can form. It is it can form the p pi x p pi x multiple bond. P pi x multiple bond with themselves or with the atoms of the other element in this group. As for example, carbon double bond carbon, carbon triple bond carbon, nitrogen double bond nitrogen, nitrogen triple bond nitrogen. Then you can see carbon double bond oxygen. Eh? Carbon triple bond. See this type of uh, multiple bond that is P pi x. P, this is a P x bond. P pi x and P pi x bond that is produced by this compound. So these are all the abnormalities, or we can say anomalous behavior of the second period element and there is also that we are going to discuss another thing that is the diagonal relation some element in the group in the period 2 they show some similarity and the property with the second member of the next period element, next group element. That is, here you can see lithium is so the similarity in the property with the magnesium. Borulium, beryllium so the similarity in the property with the aluminium. And boron so similarity property in the silicon, and you can see these are basically diagonal elements, and this group lithium is resemble to the this magnesium, beryllium to this aluminium, and boron to the silicon. And why this so? What is the reason behind it? Reason behind it that their first radius. Atomic radius is almost same and the charge to size ratio same. So the reason behind that diagonal relationship, this is called the diagonal relationship. And reason behind the diagonal relationship is the radius is same and the charge to size ratio is same. So that is all the abnormal behavior of the second period element and uh, diagonal relationship of the element with the second group, second period element with the Diagonals or diagonal elements with themselves the similarity. This is understood that is the diagonal relationship. This is lithium and this is the magnesium and this is diagonal relationship. That is basically your similarity in the properties. Now we will going to discuss some important questions that is very much essential to you learn. Okay. This is the question number one. The outer most electronic configuration of least electronegative elements in the periodic table the electronic configuration has been shown a1 s2 2p5 b 3s2 3p6 and like this way we have to see least electronegative element least electronegative element means we have to consider those electron configuration which is having the higher radius we know higher the radius 
lesser will be the electronegativity of that element. Right? So, here you can see the radius, higher radius will be the D. This will be the higher radius and this is the outermost electron configuration. This is a Frank, Frank Young. Frank Young, you can remember, this is the outer cell electron configuration of the Frank Young. And you know Frank Young is the last element in the group 1. So, it will be the least electronegative elements and its electronegativity you can remember it is 0 0.7. Okay. This is the second question. Which of the following is the highest electron gain enthalpy with the negative sign? Here you can see fluorine and chlorine because of the fact they is already negatively charged. Any incoming electrons will have a repulsive interaction with the negative anion and with this electron. So whenever we want to put any electron in the chlorine minus and if minus you have to give some energy to enter that electron. So here the electron gain enthalpy will be positive. But you have to say highest electron gain enthalpy with the negative sign. So these two U minus Cl minus is definitely not the highest electron gain enthalpy with negative sign. So among these two what will be the answer? What which will be the answer? Now here you can see lithium has this very small diameter, small radius as compared to the sodium. So it can attract the electron very well as compared to this sodium plus. So the electron gain enthalpy will be least highest electron, the highest electron gain enthalpy in the negative sign will be the lithium plus. When lithium will attract the electron, it will evolve, it will lot of energy will be released because of the fact there is a higher attractive force between the lithium nucleus and the your electron and also it is a positively charged. So answer will be the lithium, lithium plus, not sodium plus. This is the question number 3. Here it is been given the first four ionization enthalpy value of an elements are 191, 578, 872 and 5962 kilocalorie per mole. The number of valence electron in the element is 1, 2, 3 and 4. For this case that you have to see that this is naturally the first ionization enthalpy, the second and this is third and this will be the fourth. You can see the ionization enthalpy, first ionization enthalpy is always less than by the second ionization enthalpy and second ionization enthalpy is also less than the third ionization enthalpy. And there will be a gradual increase of this ionization enthalpy as you can see. 191, 578, 892, 872. There is a gradual increase. But here at the fourth ionization enthalpy, you can see there is a very suit up. That is, the ionization enthalpy has been increased by anything. So, this only happened when there is a negative. Nobel gas configuration. The electron lost 
by the element it will ultimately have the electronic configuration at that which is equivalent to your noble gas so at that time when we want to release the electron as it is very highly stable lot of energy that will be required and for this this is the reason for this this is very high electronic ionization enthalpy and so you can see that it will have the three electrons in the direction up to this three electron there is a ionization enthalpy is manageable but when it reaches the three all the balance and you have to remove then you have when you are going to remove this electron from the noble gas configurations then there is a higher increase in the ionization enthalpy and that is why it will have the three electrons three valence electrons so that is all for the today's video uh, i think you understood this all the points and all the exercise that uh, we are discussed and if you like this video you can share to your friends and uh, all the best for listening this video and thank you very much all the best